that's why it was funny because it just was not true. Like I didn't yeah. come out and support no Democratic Party, bro. Like the mm-hmm. fuck? maybe John Legend did. I don't know. Right. I didn't. But to be fair, he said both of y'all did. But was it that, or was it talking about when he met with Trump? Because I felt like that's where a lot of. And by the way, I was there the day when he met with Trump on the right. plane with him. Get out of here. We, we flew to Uganda to Africa. I was there on the plane with him and Kim and his daughter and his wow. dad. Wow. Flying to Uganda. We reading about how uh, black people are the real Israelites and all this amazing history. Wow. Flying to Uganda. We reading about how uh, black people are the real Israelites and all this amazing history. So you are saying that we come from West Africa. Absolutely. And, and how do you know who's Hebrew? At this point, well, when you are mixed up, like, how for, do you know for, who's for those of us who study the Torah and base our ideas on the diaspora or the teachings of the Torah, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt emphatically that the Torah's description of what would happen to us as a people only occurred to the people that were taken and stolen from West Africa and forcefully brought to America. We're the only people that's been placed on ships. We're the only people that had yokes of iron on our neck. We're the only people that was placed in a land that we have never been to and were sent there for 400 years. So that description, which is told only in the Torah, is a perfect description of what occurred in the transatlantic slave trade. No other spiritual text has that. 